and so far, no arrests have been made. All right. Thanks for the latest. We appreciate it, Sean. Wow. Wow. I don't think they're going to need to tip the cards. We can probably guess the hand that they've got. Posted on that. Also tonight, we're learning more about an Indianapolis man killed over the weekend in a shooting on Indy's near northwest side. Fox 59's Jesse Wells explains why some witnesses and neighbors feel this violence could have been prevented. Detectives are still investigating exactly what led to the deadly shooting here in this parking lot. In the meantime, both police and the victim's family are still asking for help holding the killer accountable. Around 3 o'clock Sunday morning, IMPD was called to this parking lot of Village Liquor at the corner of 30th and Lafayette and found a man shot. 38-year-old Quincy Ross died after being rushed to the hospital. Witnesses insist a large crowd had gathered in the parking lot when a dispute escalated to gunfire. With that, we have nothing further at this time, and we really need the community's help and assistance, that collaboration, to help bring something to this family who's lost a life. While the liquor store itself was closed at the time of the shooting, neighbors claim a food truck was plugged into this power pole and was operating in the parking lot, which attracted the large after-hours gathering. It's really sad that... Banned food trucks. ...was gathering. It's really sad that a business can be open and cause so much grief. You know? Yeah, the business caused it. <laughs> wow. Damn, Tiffany. You went she full just... retard on that one. I mean, so commonly it's observed, but it really is like a fucking tornado or something. like. She you shouldn't be know. able to operate a business while there's a tornado warning. <laughs> wow. The, the business attracted the sons, and because there was a concentration of sons, there was inevitably a shooting. So, technically, <laughs> technically, <laughs> stop it just stop it I mean no seriously nah, nah. if only there was like a set of laws and cultural stipulations that prevented you know some people from entering certain businesses and, and that kind of thing you're talking about separate but equal <laughs> I'm talking about separate oh shit alright somewhere separate somewhere for hours uh, gathering. It's really sad that... Separate. The part uh, that... Damn. While the liquor store itself was closed at the time of the shooting, neighbors claim a food well, truck... The liquor store is off the hook. <laughs> liquor store is off the hook. Jesus, this is not good at all. Oh, you got ports in the window. You got... <laughs> yeah, I mean, if had they been open, yeah, they would have definitely got the beef. The liquor store itself yeah. was closed at the time of the shooting... Neighbors claim a food truck was plugged into this power pole and was operating in the parking lot, which attracted the large after-hours gathering. It's really sad that a business can be open and cause so much grief. You know, someone had to lose their life on race day when there was already enough drama. Tiffany, who runs a nearby business, believes the violence could have been avoided if the food truck followed the same rules as every other business. <laughs> Oh, you can't be. I told you, man. Just don't. Ask, we just need to stop talking to women altogether. Just don't interview yeah. them. Don't don't listen to them. Just they're stupid. She so, don't know, fish. She just doesn't know. So hold on. Are you are you completely discounting what she's? I think she's on to something, though. No. I mean, think about it. No, just think about this. Right. They were a focal point for the swarm. Let's say you have a neighborhood, right? Would you want a food truck open at night in your neighborhood if you knew it was going to attract sons to your neighborhood? I mean, no. anything let attracts me answer that sons. For you. Let, me, let me answer that for you. No. So maybe she's trying to say No, I just don't want with... sons around. I'm more on the hot black theory. No, but Separate, here's... equal on different continents would be ideal. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Everyone has to suffer, so you can't just isolate sons. So 
the food truck, yes, gliders could go to the, it could be a million gliders at that food truck and it wouldn't even be, you wouldn't even know if you were around the corner, you wouldn't even know they were there. But everyone has to suffer. So we have to get rid of food trucks after a certain time in the city, pass an ordinance where food trucks can't operate after a certain time in the city just to keep this from happening. Cause that's I mean, it, it's just a losing battle. You Eventually, you just got to drive sons out of your city if you want to have a city. Everything. Yeah. You can't much. ban everything, you know? Eventually, it's just you're going to get backed into a corner and then and then it gets real Western. I don't know, man. I think she's trying to set it up, though. I think she, I don't think this woman is that far off, man. I mean, no, nah, she's a, she's she's doing what women do, and they're you know putting band aids and backpedaling always because they're not privy okay, to you- in. They don't fix problems with violence. They only just hide. Whose fault is that? And that's just how they're wired. I'm saying, whose fault fault is it? Yeah, men, men, we're going to have to drive y'all out of this country. Like, that's the only way we're going to have a first world country. I mean, if you can't control her, how are you going to drive out the sun, man? Oh, we'll just do (laughs) the same thing. We'll just do the same thing we've always done. What, capitulate to her? No, we win. When we actually start trying, we win. All right. Well, hopefully that hopefully that works. You're divided, though, Democrat Republican. It's not like y'all are. You the the. Let I me mean, no, Glider men are not really divided though. Hold on, but Democrats would never let y'all drive us out. We we're too valuable to their power. We're we're, we're if, but we're, they want. But if we're in power, it doesn't matter. What do you mean? No, I don't see that happening. I think the only but thing this that is this is. is the, the this is the only way it's going to happen. No, nah, the country will like just naturally break up at some point and we'll get like a but smaller then, but state. Then, but listen, listen. Then what's going to happen? The glider areas are going to be fucking awesome. The sun areas are going to suck ass. <laughs> and then the suns are going to beg and plead. You know? Right. First stuff. And then at that point, you'll have like established a new state with like a only white constitution, blah, blah, but then, blah. But so. <laughs> and then it's just, and then it's going to get really awesome. And then what? We're going to start listening to stupid women like Tiffany, and then she's going to start demanding we close food trucks again. Yeah, it's, it's going to be the same <laughs> shit. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in this cycle. But fish, fish. At that point, it would be on us, though, right? No, right. Well, I mean, there was a period where we we were totally different in this country. No, no. No, and we want to go back to that. But what I'm trying to say is I we're not going to be able to go back to that while retaining control of the entire United States. I, I would imagine what would realistically happen is like the country just kind of fractures and then everyone gets their little fucking little spot kind of. Everybody gets their own enclave. It's the Jews. Yeah, basically. Role, like basically what the Jews crew did. They went into Israel. They kicked out the Arabs and they took over their little fucking slice of the pie. And then what are they, what are they doing there? Yeah, and then they set up their ethno state, but they, they didn't get and all but, of but, it. But what are they do? What are they doing right now? What are you? They're mean? taking oh, it all. They're taking it all back. Yeah, but yo, fish. Do you think that's really going to work? I don't think so. I think it's going to bring the opposite result. If I'm being honest, in the long run, <laughs> it's really it's, it's really. Like, well, I mean, it's people. like you're like uh, Mossy just made the point of like what are when are glider men going to do stuff and then listen to you talk. So, Fish, check it out. In my opinion, I think at this point, if the Juice Crew continues what they're doing, it, it's going to create like a South Africa and they'll become like a pariah state. It, in my opinion, they should just stop where they're at and just like give give uh, give Gaza state. Well, I mean, we're and- not even talking about Israel right now. Sure. Like, okay. I didn't want to talk about Israel at all with any of this. OK, point being. But whatever. <laughs> In today's world, like a full-on ethnic cleansing, that's that's pretty fucking difficult to but do. But I'm man. telling you, like, there's going to have to be some level of violence that comes because some people are not going to come to the table reasonably, right? Absolutely. They're going to they're going to keep looting. They're going to keep running into new areas and destroying them. And then there's going to have to be some level of boot that's going to be put down. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with them on that. 
Fishman, I, I, I get what you're saying. And actually, I, 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 like, I would like for glider men to stand up for themselves. What I'm saying is just, what I don't want you to do is make this get it confused that you go all, that you're all going to be on the same page because you still got leftist glider men to deal with. It's the fucking truth, the, unfortunately. I mean, that's a very small group of glider men, though, and they're all pussy. So, like, what those exactly are, the, are they going to do? Aren't those the elite gliders, though? They're like pra- practically. All this shit? Practically well, speaking, I yeah. don't know. Those are soy boys. Like, yeah, it, man, I'm just uh, telling you, like, like you, like it, everyone can scoff at it. There's gonna have to be some serious no, we're, changes. We're not scoffing at it. I, I'm not. I'm what not mean? talking about you. I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying in general. There's gonna have to be serious changes to our approach to these things, and it's going. The answer is going to be violent. It's gonna have to be violent. It'll have to be. Period. Let me move on. Let me move on. Something to this family who's lost a life. While the liquor store itself was closed at the time of the shooting, neighbors claim a food truck was plugged into this power pole and was operating in the parking lot, which attracted the large after-hours gathering. It's really sad that a business can be open and cause so much grief. You know, someone had to lose their life on race day when there was already enough drama. Tiffany, who runs a nearby business, believes the violence could have been avoided if the food truck followed the same rules as every other business in the area. If they're on liquor store property, then they should have to follow the same hours that the liquor store is open. But they don't, and so they're open at 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning. And then we have to wake up to this this morning because someone lost their life over just stupidity. While multiple businesses, including the liquor store, do have surveillance cameras, IMPD says they can't bring justice to the family of Quincy Ross on their own. We want to remind the public that it takes a partnership, a relationship with IMPD and the public, that collaboration with their help. That's how we solve so many crimes and we need them more than ever. Finally, police did not have any detailed suspect information to release, but as always, anyone with information on the case can still contact either IMPD's homicide office or Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. All right, Jesse. <sighs> Man, uh, salute, man. Um, and on that note, man, same black time, same black channel. Um, out of here, peace out, peace out. Hey, how black.